writing fractions as decimals using two different methods. Our first method is if there is a multiple of 10 in the denominator, we can use place value to write the fraction as a decimal. For example, 35 hundredths. So 35 hundredths would be equal to 0 0.35 since 100 is a multiple of 10 and it is one of our place values that we use when we're writing decimal. Our second method, if the denominator is not a multiple of 10, we use division. 5 eighths would look like 5 divided by 8, and that would give me 625 thousandths, or 0 0.625. As a review of the place values, the first digit after the decimal is the tenths place, the second is the hundredths, the third is the thousandths, the fourth is the ten thousandths, and so on after that. So let's look at a couple of examples. Our first example, 3 tenths, where 10 is a multiple of 10, so that since the tenths place is the first digit after the decimal, this one is pretty simple, it would just be 0 0.3, or 3 tenths. This second one, 50 is a multiple of 10, but it's not one of our place values that we reviewed on the previous slide. So I want to set this up to where it can have 100 as the denominator, since that is one of our place values. I can multiply 50 by 2 to get 100, and 4 times 2 to get 8. Since 8 is the hundredths place, it's going to be 0 0.08. For our next example, 25 is not a multiple of 10, so I'm going to use division. Numerator divided by denominator. So since 25 cannot go into 3, I'm going to add a decimal and a 0. Always remember to bring your decimal straight to the top. 25 cannot go into 3. 25 goes into 30 one time. 1 times 25 is 25, and we're ready to subtract. So 10 minus 5 is 5. Add another 0 and bring it down. 25 goes into 50 two times. 2 times 25 is 50, and since I have 0 at, at the bottom, my answer is going to be 12 hundredths, or 0 0.12. This would be a good place to pause the video to see if you can solve this one on your own, or you can continue watching to see how I solve it. So again, 8 is not a multiple of 10, so I'm going to do 7 divided by 8, and since 8 cannot go into 7, I want to add a decimal and a 0. 8 can't go into 7, and it goes into 70 8 times. 8 times 8 is 64, and now I subtract. 10 minus 4 is 6. Add a 0 and bring it down. 8 goes into 60 7 times. 7 times 8 is 56. Subtract 10 minus 6, and that gives me 4. Add another 0, and bring that down. 8 goes into 40, 5 times evenly. So our answer for this one would be 875 thousandths, or 0 0.875. So as a final review, the two methods that we looked at today, if there is a multiple of 10 in the denominator, you can simply use place value to write the fraction as a decimal, or you can also use division when the denominator is not a multiple of 10.